it is coat dipper 821 with you today and this video I'm not going to be dipping but I'm going to show you how to do the Copenhagen lid trick but I've already started it because it actually takes kind of a while but you hold it like this and you just spin and twist now starting to crack on crack it oh you hear it tell me I wonder if you can hear it and then you just keep doing that and it starts coming out um, shout out to Outlaw Dipper, uh, Eric Dips, Duke Dipper 423, Joey Let's Dippin 94, the Brittle Dips, Southern Dipper, Mojug 1, Chris Dips 1, it's Cajun Tiger 616. Can't seem to find where it's cracking off, y'all. But I can hear it. There it goes again. There it goes again. And again, and again. Where is it? Oh, I found it. But, y'all, if you want yourself a mud jug, go over to mudjug.com. Uh, hit the little, it's like a little, it says store. Click on that and use the code ZONA, that is Z O N A, for 25% off your entire purchase. That it has no expiration date. A mud jug is a portable spittoon if you don't know that. And it is worth your money. It is spill proof, smell proof, and it even has a black rubber weight in the bottom. And if it is ever tipped over, it will tip back up on its tip back upright. I don't know what's so taking this damn can lid so damn long. But Yeah, guys, it's getting there. Dude, my hand is tired of shit. But yeah, once it starts cracking, you just keep doing it, keep doing it, and it should come right off. Like I, oh, and by the way, Copenhagen Snuff is the hardest can lid to get off. So if you really want one, you gotta work for it. Like, I'm pretty sure I've done spin this thing almost 100 times. That was a lot of shit. There it keeps cracking. Come on, baby. Oh shit, I almost dropped it. And if you want, if you don't know what a snuff skin is, it is like a rubber coating that goes over your dip can. If you ever dropped it in water, it will float back up instead of just sinking like a normal dip can would without one. And they got some pretty sick ass tits designs and shit like that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get this shit off like fast. So I'm fucking tired. There we go. Come on. I'm actually doing this shit pretty fast now. Yeah, it's starting to come off good. Yeah. I will not actually. You can actually make a hat clip out of these, but I will not make a, be making one out of this. I have a Cope whiskey blend hat clip in my bathroom, and I will show y'all that, and I will show y'all how to do that. Come on, baby. Better stop doing that before I fuck it up. <sighs> Hands get tired. 
I could have done had this off if it was coat wearing or something. There we go. Oh, and you gotta kind of be careful with it because it will cut you. That really just fucking hurt. But, yeah. I just like that, y'all. Oh, now, I will show you how to make a can lid. Or a hat clipper. Okay, see, so this is what you do. So, you got this. You that little line right here, right above the warning label. You would take it and you fold it back just like this. And then once you get it folded back, you take this part and push it in. And then when you're ready, you just push it on there. You're good to go. Doesn't come off. You're good. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, thumbs up, subscribe, all that other good shit, and I will see y'all later. Coat Dipper 821 out.